should have them. But was it, did the uncertainty weigh in, in on y'all at all? I mean, I'm sure y'all looking at the schedule like, okay, well, when will we do without them? Knowing that you'll have two SEC games you got to play without them, does that clear things up a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it put it put a toll on all of us because all of us will have to play different roles in, in order for us to win. How do you think you guys will be different on Friday and next week? Uh, we will be different. I mean, everybody doesn't have to step up and play that play their uh, play their game. That's it. Snoop, how have you improved your game personally? Well, uh, I just been basically just working on my game. That's it. Just working on everything I can get better at to improve my game. Guard play without Marshall, I mean, yeah, obviously you take on a bigger burden, but who, where else does the scoring burden have to come from? Who else has got to pick up to score points? I mean, everybody on this team can score. I feel like everybody on this team can score, and, and we all, we all, just, we all plan on doing it. Snoop, do you feel like the Marshall story, all the attention that, that, uh, that it has gotten, has that taken away from what you guys accomplished last year and uh, what, uh, I guess, expectations for this year? Do you feel like you all have been – Lost in the conversation. Uh, actually, I, uh, I don't think that at all. I mean, we all have good pieces uh, on this basketball team. And like I said, Marshall, he, he a big part of this team. And I feel like we're good without him. And I think we can we can uh, accomplish, accomplish the things that we did last year without him. So I just want to just put everything behind us and, and just move forward. Losing the production you guys lost last year with Murphy scoring, what Nick was able to do, what Reg was able to do. Do you have to be a more consistent scorer this year to kind of get to that 12, 14, 15 points a game? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to step my uh, my, my plate, my uh, my skills up. Uh, because Reggie, you know, he, he was, a, he was a, a dominant player here. Murphy was a dominant player here. Also, Nick. So, I feel like I'm going to have to uh, step my game up, and that's what I'm going to do. With what? everything Marshall's been been through, I mean, do you see any change in him personality-wise? you see the same guy he's always been? Marshall, I haven't really seen a big change in Marshall, and – I have really, really just saw him changing as a person because I knew how he was and I knew I know how he is now. Marshall have changed a lot. How how was he and what is he now? Uh, he, he just he just a good player and he's he, he's different. He's he's better. In July when it all went down and he was suspended, did you think he would be back? Uh, honestly, I don't even know. I, I don't I don't know what went down or anything to be honest. Snoop, what about the new guys in the post? What have they looked like? Uh, the new guys in the post, I, I like, I like uh, uh, Seabaz and also Dwight Colbert. I mean, they, they're both really good players. And I'm, we, we, we as a team is not expecting them to replace Murphy and, and Ridge what they did, but I feel like they'll be they're really good players for us. What are their skills like? What can they do? Uh, they, they both have different, different skill sets, like – I say Sebas, he's like he more as a, a face up and score post, but he, he's very strong and long. He's very long. Dwight Kobe, he's more like a let me see, like just more of, of a dog. Like he just you know just want to go at your neck. Like he don't he don't care who you is. He he going at you. He don't care. Are they 